how are you? Oh, hey. Do you see what I'm filming on? Probably not, because you can't see the camera itself, because you're it. Anyway, I'm filming on um, the EOS Rebel T5i, and it's beautiful, if you can't tell. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, and there's also tape on the walls behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some projects going on around this house. And there's also makeup on the bed behind me because today I'm doing my everyday makeup routine video. And let me just tell you, this video has its ups and its downs. I make mistakes, but hey, we all make mistakes um, because I'm getting used to this new camera, like zooming in and stuff. Look what I can do. See that? That's my face, like really up close. And I didn't even have to get closer to the camera. Obviously there's problems because it's like trying to focus itself. So that's what I've been trying to figure out. But you know, we will adjust and we will persevere. But yeah, in this video I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup basically every day. It varies from day to day, but this is generally what I do. And let's get started. Also, I don't include my foundation routine in this video because I'm gonna do that in another video. So I, um, yeah, I excluded that. Continuing on. All right then, starting off. I already did my face makeup, that's okay. I'm gonna start with, you guessed it, Urban Decay Primer Potion, duh. So, I use like less than a pea size amount. So I'm just going ahead and placing that on my lids and a little bit underneath my eyes as well, just like near my bottom lash line. So, while my primer is I guess setting, I don't even know if you have to do this, but I kind of like to let it like dry and whatever and just like soak into my face. Is that weird? I don't know. So while I'm doing that, I'll take a brow gel, a clear brow gel. This is a little sample one for my birch box. It's the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel just to make my brows stick. And then after that, I'm going to use my um, IT Cosmetics brow powder. It's a powder pencil thing, but I don't know why, but I like to do my gel before I do my um, filling in. And that's probably kind of weird, but no. So pretty much daily, I only use one eyeshadow. And it's this super duper old one that I probably shouldn't even still be using. And it's almost gone. And I don't even think they sell it anymore. And the label is completely gone. But um, it's the brown one of this, I think it's L'Oreal. No, yes, L'Oreal Hip um, Duo in brazen. It's this awesome, just like chocolatey brown color that I use all the time. So I take a small, almost like packing brush first. I just pack it onto the outer half of my lid first. And then to further add dimension and buff it out, I take my fluffy crease brush and pull some more into my crease. And it's seriously just so effortless and easy and pretty. And you're only using one eyeshadow color and it looks like you did like this whole smoky eye thing, but all you're doing is just putting one beautiful color in your crease. I'm like fangirling over this camera right now. You can actually see what I'm doing. So that's what my eye looks like. Now, I'm going to do the other one. So now is the time for bottom liner, and lately I've been lining my bottom, li lining my bottom, lining underneath my eyes with the same eyeshadow I just used and I go under half of my eye. So I just pack the color on this tiny little um, angled brush, and then I sweep it under my lashes. Wow, that looks so good, Lane. That's what I get for not using a mirror. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep this in because everybody makes mistakes, and everybody has those days. But I don't usually put my liner that far underneath my eye. So once you've partially fixed your wonky eyeshadow, you're going to find a mirror and do it correctly. Better. Much Ow! Okay, stab yourself. Also, good job. Other eye! Hopefully we'll have more luck this time. Already looking better. Awesome! Now it's time for liquid eyeliner! I'm gonna use this one. I change up my eyeliner all the time, but oh wow, the label is not on here. It's L'Oreal's Carbon Black Liner. Not gel liner. Liquid liner. And I'm gonna do a little wing. So, um, the first thing I do is I follow my bottom lash line upward, just like it's kind of continuing up. And that's where I put the little flick. So flick, flick, I do a little flick. And it's never, almost, basically almost never perfect. Look at that, that's a thick one. But you know, it's different every day. And then I follow it in to my lash line. 
See there, I have a wing, and I cover where my lash line is. Wow, I'm great at explaining things. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. So there's my little wing. You're not gonna see me doing the other eye because I'm facing the other way, but pretend. And now it's finally time for mascara. I'm using the best mascara on the face of the earth. Benefit, they're real. It's magnificent and everything you ever wanted in mascara, just so you know. Um, I like to do, I think, two coats, basically. So, I would consider this one coat, right, wouldn't you? And then I go on the bottom. I can't talk while I do it, sorry. I'm gonna make a face. Translation, I can't talk while I do this, sorry, I have to make this face. Other eye, other eye. Ow! I poked myself, poked myself. And I do a little flick out on the side too. I don't know, it just gets those side lashes, I think. Kind of adds to the wing effect, don't you think? I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination. Sweet! And that's how my eye looks when I'm done with my eye makeup. Now it is time for my brows! And like I said, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Brow Powder Pencil? Is that what you call it? But it totally looks like this. And I basically go on the bottom of my eyebrow, kind of like this. Let me show you. So I go on the underside of my brow and create a little line. I don't fill in the entire thing. I'm gonna go in to about there. Then I fill in um, a little semicircle right here. And continue about like, uh, like you're halfway filling your brow. Does that make any sense whatsoever? And then I do the little tail, my measly little brow tail. And I do little strokes because I've been told that that make, looks like um, real eyebrows. Done with my favorite eyebrow. I like this eyebrow better than that one. This brow is shorter. It's kind of weird. I don't know why. And we're done with the brows. And now it is blush time. I'm using my Milani Super Springy Fun Blush in Coralina. So I take this blush brush and um, I dip it in there and then I smile and I put it on my apples. I'm gonna get a mirror so I don't way over apply blush. So I just put the blush on my apples and then I pull it out a little bit across my cheekbones. And would you look at that glow? Apple cheekbone. There we go. And last but not least, it is time for the lips. I use different lip stuff basically every day. And sometimes I don't even do lips. But today I'm gonna do gloss. This gloss looks pink, but it's actually pretty clear. I love it, because it doesn't get sticky and weird. It actually feels like um, very, very smooth on. It's a L'Oreal Paris color rich, 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 rich. Not French. Is that French? Ooh. Les Gloss. Yes, it is French. Watermelon Crush, number 154. So I'm just gonna put that on. Do you know how to put on lip gloss? Probably. You probably do. So thank you so much for watching me put makeup on today. This is what I do every day. It usually doesn't take this long. One, because I'm not explaining it, and two, because I usually don't mess up this much because I usually use mirrors. But um, this was a journey. Feel free to leave me a comment or like my video or whatever. I don't even care. Just, um, you know, makes me happy to interact. So also feel free to subscribe if you'd like to. It means the world to me. And so that's all I've got today. And I'll see you later. Bye. Wow, you stay focused here. If you go out of focus, I'll be really mad. Okay. Nope, I'm gonna zoom out.